All right, so this is the new Steel Dynamics Incorporated Engineering Building. As I'm looking at this facing westbound, I'm going to approach and look at the building from the entrance here. And I am now standing on the patio outside of what will be the coffee shop. If I look to my right, I can enter the building into the glass atrium Thunder Alley. Looking directly westbound into campus, to my left is the full cafe. And I will just walk down the Thunder Alley glass hallway. As I walk down that hall, I can look here to my left and see the brand new maker space funded by the Don Wood Foundation. We'll be entering that through the uh, first floor hallway momentarily. So I'll continue down this hall. And as I turn and look up, we can see the nice staircase and class lounge entering here. To my right is one of the classrooms that will be on the first floor. Continuing, here is another classroom. On the first floor, um, this is the new location for our biomechanics lab. So as I look through this space, here where my pointer is will be the mechanicals and computer. That square in the middle will be the force plate data collection center. And then we will have the changing room where uh, students and participants in lab can don the uh, equipment and then go into the lab. I exit the space again. Down this hallway, we will enter the west door of the maker space. As you can see, uh, Braden has equipped the space with some of the equipment that we'll be planning to have here. To my right, we will have our paint booth and a laser cutter. Directly in front of me, we will be having our solder station and printed circuit board fabrication. On this wall, there is a small sampling of 3D printers that we will have for use for students. Over here to the right, a general workspace and we will have a flat good sewing and vinyl cutting station. Uh, through this center section, as I look back down, there will be meeting and collaboration spaces with mobile whiteboard capabilities. As we look over here, uh, there will be soft seating represented by a couch here, but there will be mobile soft seating with a digital projection. We're planning on having a virtual reality showcase in this space. And then in this corner of the room, we will have a welcome area where our student workers that will staff this space will be uh, located. A uh, unique feature is out of the cafe, there will be an observation window and uh, collaboration space that we'll be able to look down through that entire area. So we'll quickly go to that space right now. Toggling up. So I am standing in the cafe and as I said, there's a neat uh, observation when you, window that uh, will have some collaboration tables and spaces that uh, folks can observe and watch what uh, is happening in the maker space. So this is the uh, cafe, front of house, and then the back of house uh, for the uh, what is now Centennial Station. So continuing down that first floor area, uh, we have men's and women's restrooms kind of uh, as you would expect. We'll continue up to the second floor now, following the staircase directly out of the cafe. Walking up these stairs. This open space that you see in front of me is where it will connect to the existing box center, uh, the Jim and Joan box center for innovation and biomedical engineering. Again, another set of restrooms on this floor as well as full elevator access. Continuing down this hallway, we have uh, a balcony looking down. This classroom is the large open virtual reality classroom where um, we'll have 30 stations with Oculus, HTC Vive, and HoloLens capabilities. Going down this hallway, um, and here are two server rooms for our uh, computer science and information technology students. 
and back slightly. This will be the network and server space. As you can see, there is a ramp uh, with an elevated floor for all of the students to do the networking necessary for them to develop their systems and network with a full server system that can be observed from the back of house for the server room. Going down, there is access to what is a sky lounge as we look from lower earlier. There'll be see soft seating up here for the students. Continuing, this is a, another network or informatics and uh, cybersecurity classroom with a network space back here again. Whiteboard and digital capabilities on all classroom walls. General classroom space to my right. This will be the computer science and information technology uh, faculty and office suite. As we go in here to our left will be the space for the office receptionist. One of the unique things that we'll have here to the right is a uh, department student lounge, coffee area, coffee shop, and network and gaming area so that the students can collaborate. Um, moving forward, faculty chair uh, office. Again, they'll be facing westbound. And then the print and uh, support room for the faculty offices. Uh, continuing back out. We will go to the balcony. There will be a classroom at the end on both floors that has a wonderful glass observation down the opening to Thunder Alley with an observation balcony here that you can see. Then we will go up the back staircase here. Now we are on the third floor of the engineering building. Directly at the top of the staircase will be the biomedical engineering office, department office. Uh, support uh, staff here, office administrator, department chair, and class, uh, other faculty spaces. Going out, one of the things that was uh, requested by the department was a small conference room for student groups to meet. And then an end classroom there. Uh, classrooms, large classrooms on this north end of the building and an exciting space on the top floor that we'll walk through here. This is the chemical engineering uh, wet lab here, with, outfitted with the lab benches, chemical storage, and a fume and chemical storage pass-through. Eyewash station. So as I stated, here is the chemical and chemistry storage with a uh, clean pass-through into the lab. If we look here, this is the biomedical engineering uh, tissue and um, chemicals wet lab. We'll click through this classroom here. So uh, again, there's two more classrooms at the top. One area that I uh, did not mention on the first floor that we will go back to quickly as we click back down to the first floor. An exciting space that is located directly outside of the grab-and-go food that we are standing in here are the huddle rooms. So uh, this space that you can see in front is one of four small classroom meeting spaces for students to collaborate on projects and team work. So there are four of those in this hallway, the largest one being in this back space with white whiteboard and digital capabilities in each. So. As we look, there's one last classroom on the first floor, and that is a full virtual tour of the new Steel Dynamics Incorporated Engineering Center. I would highly encourage anybody to uh, put on the virtual reality set and take a tour themselves. Braden Wallen Fry, our senior mechanical engineering student, has done a lot of this design work, and uh, he is hoping to uh, develop this into his career. Thanks for joining me.